I'm back with more prototypes made in Godot, aka Godot types. I last left off with Bunny Blaster, a 2D game not too dissimilar to Mega Man, where you run and jump around. After that, I added some a custom scripting language for making like a visual novel, sort of, kind of, just to learn about text boxes and how I'd render this. So I'll show the script after, but we find ourselves witnessing a rare meeting. The character Red says, hi there. What, you don't know me? The character Blue responds, dot, dot, dot. We met last week, Red says. Oh yeah, I remember you. Can I show you a magic trick? Screen flash. Presto, a background. You can set the background with the scripting language. And now, look, the background can be cleared. And then the background is reset. Oh, and this is a long line, mate. Let's hope it wraps or something similar. And that just shows text wrapping. But then what I didn't get to, and I was feeling a little lazy about, I kind of lost my steam on this prototype, was having the text wrap and scroll. It's totally possible. Um, I was just like, eh, I, what I got was good enough. Um, and then it just resets and you can cycle through it. So I thought I'd show you that because I think that's how that works is pretty interesting. You write, you author all of the text for a scene, and not a Godot scene, but like a scene like in a movie. You author it with writing a new line in a text file. And if it starts with a name and a colon, it shows that name. Just like here, it shows blue and it finds the image for Blue's character, and um, then it shows their text in the box, and it shows an image. And it, you can cycle through based on input. If it starts with an exclamation mark or a bang, it's a command that flashes the screen or sets the background. And um, You could add more like screen shake, which I didn't add, but that'd be something that could be useful. Um, I don't know if this is super useful for people, this would be pretty rudimentary. If you needed something more complicated, almost like what RenP has, you would probably want to use explore something else. Like there's a tool called Ink that's a little more feature filled, but this is a, uh, yeah, really simple to write these kinds of scenes and you could switch between them. And the code for this is in the GitHub repo and public domain. So, you know, do with it what you want. I'll probably utilize it for some games and experimenting. Then after the visual novel prototype, I wanted to start learning 3D modeling and how to make 3D games in Godot. This took me a little bit of time. These assets are by Kenny, I didn't make these ones. And you're just piloting the ship around in 3D space, um, or <laughs> in 2D directions, but everything is 3D. And you can see on the right side of the screen, these are warping because of the camera fisheye type effect. I don't know how to fix that or what to do about that. So I've got some learning to do there. But I got this working and, um, or I made this ship model. So uh, yeah, that uh, learning blender took me like a week just to like orient myself. But then since then I've been able to make some pretty simplistic low poly models. Like here's a flying one, kind of like Star Fox. I thought I'd add shooting, but then I got lazy. <laughs> and uh, cause the shooting would be so similar to the last demo that I was like, eh, I don't really want to add that. Um, you know, really the interesting thing was getting the 3D moving and the ship moving properly. So um, that's Stardog. And then I thought, oh, you know, it'd be fun, a drifting game. Kind of like, uh, just like, I don't know, like an arcade racer. Well, <laughs> so I got this car moving and uh, you can push these balls around, which are just the space objects from the last game. You can go in reverse and you can turn and um, you can slam the brakes. I don't really understand drifting. I'm not a very good car person. So I don't even know how braking would, drifting would work in the code. I'd have to learn so much about like car physics and stuff. <laughs> I don't think I will for, for now at least. So this is the most uh, drifting you can get um, in Drift Mania is uh, very slight drifting. Um, but it's cool seeing the physics and the, the balls and everything like that. And then finally, the last one is Shooting Gallery, which is a first person shooter. I'm using my controller here. This is a PS4 controller, but you can also use the mouse. Sorry that that's like bonkers fast motion, but yeah, you can use WASD and you can jump and aim and shoot with the triggers. So I got all that camera movement working and 
um, using all these assets by canning these targets and um, these uh, bullets and this like blaster thing. So yeah, I was just really curious like how this kind of thing would work and um, figured it out. So that was really fun. And yeah, that's it for gutter types. It was really fun. In total, let me show you what I've got here. Um, if I open LibreOffice and I keep track of all my working in a, in a log. So also I made a twin stick shooter, but I lost the source. I, I messed up Git pretty bad. And uh, in, in I was in rare form. I like checked some things out I didn't mean to and yada yada. And I lost a twin stick shooter that I spent an hour 0.33 on. But yeah, I've spent 28 hours on it, an hour of which was making the last video. So um, about 25 hours making these games. And you can see how much time I spent on them. Smart Input was my first one. Um, that took a while, and I spent a lot of time on that bullet hell shooter I showed in the last one. But for these four, these five, um, took me, yeah, a little bit of time, about average of two hours each. First person shooter took me a little more time to figure some stuff out. But I feel pretty good about all that. Once again, this is all on GitHub and on itch, so you can go to itch.io, brettchalupa.itch.io slash gototypes and uh, run it in the browser. It takes a little time to load if you're on Mac OS. But uh, you can view the source, it's public domain, and hopefully this helps you with whatever you're making. My plan next is to actually start making a full-fledged game. I've been thinking a lot about it. I'm going to make a shmup, a polished shmup, over the course of a month or two, I think. And I'll make devlogs for that. But now that I've got myself oriented and I've got Godot, you know, I've learned a few things, feeling comfortable and confident with it, it's time to make a full game. Until then... See you next time. Thanks and bye.